Lights, camera, action! The Unwelcome Stranger Written by Drew Edwards, illustrated by Nandy L. Fernandez, and edited by Nawatene Diana. Each day when I walk home from school, I pass through the town center. Today, when I walk through, it was busier than usual. No one told me, but I could tell something was different. I saw a group of adults crowded around the radio listening closely. I heard others arguing about what they saw on their phones. As I passed the store, a man hurried out carrying a mountain of toilet paper. Others were chasing him and yelling, We need some too! When I reached home, Mother welcomed me with a quick hug. She ran back into the kitchen right away. I did not know why, but I could tell something was different. Five kilograms of beans, eight tomatoes, nine onions. Mother counted foods while cooking dinner, which was smaller than usual. She seemed to be in a hurry. It appears we have 25 liters left in the water tank, Father responded. It seemed as if we were preparing for someone to arrive. Faith, take your sisters and keep your grandfather company until dinner is finished, Mother told me. We went outside to find Grandfather sitting in his chair. It seemed like he was waiting for us. I have been noticing adults acting very strangely today. It seems as if they are somehow preparing for someone, I told Grandfather. Ah, you have noticed the coming of the unwelcome stranger. There is something I want to share with you all, Grandfather responded. Who's the unwelcome stranger? I nervously asked. Not who, but what? It is not a person or an animal, but a virus. The unwelcome stranger has been here many times before and will be here many times again. Each time it comes, it disturbs us without warning. It cannot be seen, it cannot be heard, and it brings danger. I have information from the World Health Organization about its visit this time. They and the Ministry of Health are the experts. It behaves like the flu, but it spreads quicker and it makes you sicker. It is impossible to see who does and does not have it. The unwelcome stranger has come, as many names before, but this time it comes with the name COVID-19. How are we to avoid COVID-19? My sister asked. First and foremost, our key strategy is to distance ourselves from all others. We must avoid gatherings, and we must not touch others at all. No shaking hands, no holding hands, and no hugging, Grandfather shared. How do we protect ourselves from COVID-19, I asked. Our greatest protection is to wash our hands with soap for at least 20 seconds, as often as possible. Also, we must not touch any parts of our face, Grandfather responded. How do we defeat COVID-19? My other sister asked. COVID-19 can live not only within people, but on surfaces for a long time. We must clean the surfaces that we often touch. Soaps and bleaches have the greatest effect, Grandfather said. Know this. The greatest weapon of this unwelcome stranger, COVID-19, is causing chaos among us, Grandfather warned. It is okay to be cautious, but we must not be fearful. When we meet fear with reason, panic with patience, and uncertainty with education, we can find a way to defeat it, Grandfather encouraged. Grandfather paused for a moment, looked at each of us, and said, Things may feel different right now, and they will be for some time, but if we work together, thinking not just of ourselves or our families, but all of our world, we can defeat it. My confusion and fear were overtaken by knowledge and courage. I always know what to do after speaking with Grandfather. We got up from the fire and started doing our part straight away. We washed our hands and sang the happy birthday song twice, which lasts for 20 seconds. We even created an invention to wash our hands without touching anything. We help with the washing of our busy surfaces, 
And most importantly, we have been keeping our distance and reminding others to keep theirs. We even reminded Father. It gives me much hope to see the children doing their part. We need their help very much if we are to defeat the unwelcome stranger. Kids, dinner is ready, Mother called. We did a great job together today. Now we must do this every day until the unwelcome stranger is defeated. The end.